Let's talk about what happens when your treatment gets denied, right? And that's if that doesn't happen all the time. Treatment denials. Okay, so what happens when, let's say, you are treating with a doctor and the doctor requests some type of treatment? Uh, let's say, we'll use an example that we use pretty often. You were lifting a package at work and you suffered a low back injury. Right? The doctor says, oof, to cure you from that low back injury, we're going to need to do an injection. I want to go in there and do some uh, what's called an epidural steroid injection to your low back to cure you of your pain so that you can go and uh, do physical therapy that may do more aggressive therapy that may naturally heal your low back injury. Right? So your doctor uh, submits a form, right? it's called a RFA form, a request for authorization form. And on this form, he writes, you know, what he's requesting. So in this situation, it's an injection. So he's re requesting an injection. And then he writes some other information and gives a reason for why you need the injection. So a basis upon which the um, insurance company can evaluate this request and then decide whether or not to approve or reject the request. So let's say your doctor faxes that in to what's called a utilization review department. So let's talk about that real quickly. Um, UR stands for utilization review. Okay. Every insurance company and employer out there who has work comp insurance needs to use this process. It's called UR and it's a department in the insurance company that all they do is look at these requests and determine whether or not they should approve or reject the request, right? They're supposed to use some pretty strict guidelines like uh, MTUS guidelines, medical treatment utilization schedule, um, guidelines that tell them, okay, what to do if somebody has a low back injury. They need to go through therapy first, then get an injection, then have some more therapy, blah, blah, blah. These are all guidelines that the utilization review department will use to evaluate your doctor's request. If the, re if the request doesn't fit within those guidelines that you are um, uses, then it'll reject the request. So you are will either approve, approve, or they'll deny the request, right? If they approve it, they'll just let the doctor know, hey, your request has been approved, please go through with the treatment plan. If they deny it, then they'll send the doctor, well, they'll call the doctor, tell them it's denied. Then they'll send you, send you a denial letter. Okay. In the denial letter, it'll tell you, all right, Mr. X, your treatment request from your doctor has been denied. These are the reasons for why it was denied. Maybe it didn't fall within the guidelines or it's too soon to have it. Maybe you should have some therapy first, whatever they're, their reasoning is for the denial of your injection to write to you in their letter. Along with that letter is a explanation of how you can appeal the denial, right? So uh, once something is denied, you would want to appeal that treatment, right? So there's two options to appeal. One, you can have your doctor take a look at the denial letter and submit a, a doctor's appeal on your behalf. So submit doctor appeal. Okay, so the doctor, your doctor, your primary treating physician will review the denial letter and send in another letter saying, hey, look, I don't agree with your denial, your UR's denial letter. I think that this injection is necessary, blah, blah, blah. And he'll submit that appeal, which is basically like, um, asking the insurance company to reconsider their their uh, the original request. Maybe the appeal will include some additional documentation, some documentation that the doctor forgot to include in the first place. Maybe the doctor forgot to tell them that you already had therapy, and that's why he's improving, approve, or requesting the injection, because the therapy failed. Maybe the doctor forgot to include that in his first request, so in his appeal, he'll include that additional information. As of... 2000, January 2013, there's now a new appeal process. It's called 
oh, when did my pen get so big? It's called the Independent Medical Review. And it's abbreviated as IMR. Right? This is a new process that's probably going to stay. Everybody really likes it, um, including the insurance company and the injured workers. What it is, is if you are, so utilization review, ever denies something along with their denial letter that explains why they denied your treatment, they will need to include a request form for you um, for an IMR, an independent medical review. What the IMR is, is the department in the California Division of Workers' Compensation that will review the original request. So it's a unbiased third-party doctor that works for the state of California. He doesn't work for the insurance companies, so he's unbiased. He'll review the original request from the doctor and determine whether or not the request uh, should be approved. So if, if the IMR doctor reviews the request and determines that it should be approved, then the IMR will tell the insurance company, listen, you guys messed up on your original denial. You need to now approve it. And whatever the IMR tells the insurance company, the insurance company has to follow the direction. All right. If IMR upholds the denial, then the IMR will let you know and let your doctor know that it's true the requested procedure does not fall within the guidelines that the doctor should try something else right um, when you get a denial letter and you get a request form here's what it will look like it looks like this all right everything should be filled out okay so all this stuff here this is this should all be filled out it should all be filled out with your information your insurance information the only thing you have to do, or suppose the idea behind it is that the only thing you need to do is date it right here, date it, and then sign it right here. Sign it, date it, that's all you have to do. And then after you do that, what is, I guess there's one more thing, you have to send it in, okay? So you can send it in here. You can either send it to this address listed here, or you can fax it to this number. Right. So once you send it in, uh, the Division of Workers' Compensation will review your request and they'll start asking the insurance company for records. Right. And then that's how you initiate the IMR process. I highly recommend that whenever you get a treatment denied by UR, by Utilization Review, and they send you this form, just fill it out, mail it, fax it to the Division of Workers' Compensation and let them take care of it. What do you have to lose? The worst that can happen is it continues to get denied. But what if, on the upside, your treatment gets approved? That's a pretty big upside. I really think it's a risk-free strategy. You should definitely try it out.